What's up guys, Admiral Styles here. In today's video we're gonna see what this Galaxy class Starship can do. For the first battle we are fighting three Kavor class Klingon warships. Alright, let's see if we can win. This is gonna be a tough one. These have double the firepower of a bird of prey. Alright, so I'm gonna try to keep them behind us a little bit. Captain, their shield system has been disabled. Excellent. One is down, two to go. Alright, so I gotta come about. We're taking too much damage on the starboard side. So pretty much this is how I should have gone with the Enterprise D fighting those three Kavor class. Uh, ships in yesterday's Enterprise. So Kvorto has already lost half of its disruptors. Okay, I'm reversing to give us a better angle on this one. Alright, I was hoping one of those torpedoes would penetrate their shields. But that didn't happen. I'm sure he had more to say. Pity we won't hear it. All right, that's Raputa should finish them off. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice little body there in the background. Looks amazing. That's it. We got him. This is the uh, Tezel system. All right, let's do a damage report. Okay, we only lost one tractor beam emitter, and there's about twenty percent of the hull integrity was destroyed. Alright guys, let's take a moment to talk about the ship. So, I won't go deep into this one. I don't think I've ever really gone deep into a ship. Uh, I should start doing videos where I go deep into ships, where I go into a lot of detail on the specifications and all that. But, for this video I won't do that with the Galaxy class, since it's a very well known it's vessel. I think most of you know its specs really well. It has one photon torpedo launcher forward and one aft each capable of firing 10 photon torpedoes simultaneously. I believe the original design was for 10 phaser banks, high yield. Uh, this one has had a refit, I believe. So in Star Trek The Next Generation, I know the Enterprise went through one refit. Uh, I know they were doing weapons testing in one of the episodes where the photon torpedoes got upgraded. I'm not sure if the phasers did as well. And in the original specs, I believe the ship was capable of warp 9.6 at a maximum. And the crew complement was 1014, including family and I guess civilian staff. Uh, number of decks, I believe, was 42. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, this ship uh, is amazing. It's one of my favorite designs. I'm not sure what it is about it. I think it's just because... It's an iconic ship, and a lot of people seem to uh, gravitate towards its design, its design language. It doesn't scream warship, it doesn't seem to be the typical like sci-fi ship that's like boxy or, uh, or like industrial looking. This one is extremely elegant, it has nice curved lines, it's just easy on the eyes. Alright, so we're gonna move on to the next battle as I really don't have much to say about it other than it's freaking amazing. It looks so good. So let's move on to the next battle. A rebel? A maverick? All right, in this battle, we're gonna see if the Enterprise D could have taken on the two Rumlin Warbirds from that episode where Tomalok was checked by the Klingons that came to help Picard. 
All right, so we have to do full reverse and spread those torpedoes. We don't want to lose our forward shield. But yeah, in that episode, according to the writing, it was very clear that the Enterprise was going to be destroyed if the Klingons hadn't been there. So far we are losing. We have three of our shields that are really low, but only one Warbird has one shield that's critical. Uh, two shields that are critical now. Alright, let's start at their bridge with a full torpedo spread. Ah, they're hitting our impulse engine. And we've lost the starboard nacelle. But we took out a warbird. I think that's gonna be the end for us. Our sensor system has been disabled. And there goes the Enterprise D. Alright, according to the dialogue of that episode, that's exactly how that battle would have gone. Probably one warper destroyed and the, the Enterprise destroyed. destroyed. Ending simulation. Alright, I switched to the Galaxy Class Enemy War Refit. Uh, we're gonna go up against a TMP era pirate fleet. Quantum torpedo, sir. Oh shit, three of them collided with each other and one of them almost hit us. Alright, let's target all of them. All four of them. What remains of their fleet. I feel like Quantum Torpedo is just gonna delete these guys. Okay, there goes the Orion Dreadnought. You know, I would love to see Gorn ships in Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Especially if they look like these. Like, this one right here, I feel like, with high resolution textures, and I would say plenty of lighting, they will look really good. Maybe like, Borgish lighting across the hull, that would look fantastic. But I have no idea what Gorn technology is like. But yeah, they have those green glows. Like across their ship, like you see here on the aft of the ship. That would look pretty cool, I think. And have a little bit of a jungle vibe for them. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their forward shield is draining. Alright, just a couple of Alps torpedoes. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Okay, last one. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Okay, I'm trying to think what my final act will be for this video. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Alright, let's try a fleet battle. Alright, here we have a Cardassian Nor type starbase that's been refit for DS9. And a Cardassian Dominion fleet. Loading quantum torpedoes. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard, but I've been surprised before. Captain, the forward shield has failed. Alright, so far we've taken down an, an attack ship. We have a Vorcha and an Excelsior class that have taken hull damage. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Let me target one of those Keldons. We're in danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. 
That station's phaser impacts a punch. That's the only thing that's really been hitting us, and our forward shield is at 67%. Ah, uh, Jim'Hadar ship is coming after us. Let's see, five torpedoes. Well, Captain, where should we stop? Ah, uh, not quite. We needed six. Alright, let's make sure we don't hit the Akira class. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Alright, I think we need to go out to the star base. So we're gonna park ourselves right here, and we're gonna target the reactor. Hopefully our fleet is able to mop up the remaining Dominion fleet. We should probably conduct a scan of the area and see if we can detect any residual traces. Port shield okay, we're down to 28 quantum torpedoes. Ah, nice. The next volley will destroy the station. So we can start moving. We don't have to worry too much about a blast radius since their reactor is pretty much gone. Okay, there goes the station. We only have two battle cruisers to deal with, and we have a whole fleet left. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Oh, this one's kind of far. Target hall integrity at 50 it's fighting in Vorcha class. Target hall integrity at 20%. Sir, we're going to hit. That's it. We got him. Alright, that's a victory for the Federation Klingon fleet. Alright, for the last battle, we're gonna do the Galaxy Class War Refit against a Borg Battle Coop from... Oh my god, <laughs> I'm already getting wrecked. So we're going up against a Borg Battle Cube from the early Voyager series. Alright, so we can of course go out to their torpedo launchers. There's not that many, so we might be able to disable them. If we can find the right ones, of course. Wow, they regenerate so quickly. Alright, so we got their torpedo launcher. Can we take out their phaser beams or whatever these are? Shield is draining. 
Yeah, I was trying to think about what to actually hit. It's pretty difficult to target specific uh, systems here since the torpedo tubes don't seem to correspond 100% with where they come from on the ship. Because I cycled through all of the uh, torpedoes and that corner didn't pop up. Oh, there it is. Wow, we got it so quickly. And it's hard to tell what side of the ship we're on. Auxiliary power is at 50%. Wow, we're actually disabling the Borg cube. We have limited their uh, damage output considerably. Alright, looks like they're following us. So this is their forward quarter. I can't believe we might actually win. Their structural integrity is like 65% so far. But we need to come about and fire the aft torpedoes. We've run out of torpedoes on the forward side. All right, let's switch to photons. Switching to photon torpedoes, Captain. All right, with all those torpedoes, they might beat us. Every high chance now. Okay, we lost the aft torpedoes. We lost the forward torpedoes as well. Alright, do we still have the shuttle bay? I have no problem mining the area and blowing blowing them up that way. Alright, let's get some mines ready. And let's repair torpedoes if we can. Alright, so it sounds like they're in regeneration mode, but so are we. Alright, I haven't seen that message pop up telling me that the mines are ready. So I'm not sure if that's going to work out or not. Alright, let's manually check if the mines are ready. Auxiliary power is offline. Nope, nothing yet. Wow, we got one torpedo back up and running. Did we lose the shuttle bay? No, it's not on the list, so we still have the shuttle bay.
Alright, I think mines are gonna work out. That's unfortunate. Alright, without quantum torpedoes, I don't think we have enough firepower to get past their regeneration. So let's just ram them and hope that destroys them. Alright, full impulse right towards them. Alright, let's see if Felix tells us that we got them. It looks like we did. Usually you don't see the overlay. The ship has been destroyed. Nice. Simulation. So us ramming them got them. Would have been better if we can kill them the right way, but we don't carry that many quantum torpedoes to make that work. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Admiral Styles, and I wish you guys a great rest of your day. And I will see you on the next one. Admiral Styles out.